The course here is really perfect for me because it has such an opportunity. It's the fact that it, it's two different subjects mixed together and it has the amazing opportunity of being able to go abroad for a year. I also really enjoy the kind of location as well, so the mountains and the sea are really nice. Um, and I think that the community feel that Bangor has is really good because there's so many students and it's quite a small place, is that you, you really get to know everyone and it's really friendly. I came to an open day in October 2015. Um, and I remember being like really excited to start. In fact, my dad was very excited to start and he wasn't even coming to university. So, um, because I went to the law talk um, and it was really inspiring and we spoke to a lot of students that had studied the same course I wanted to do. So I could kind of see myself in their position as well, which was really interesting. Um, I enjoy the fact that I can do two different subjects. So if I get like kind of bogged down with one subject, I can always kind of go to the other one and do some work of that and it allows me to have a bit of a mixed timetable instead of just all law stuff I have, some law classes, some French classes. Um, I obviously really enjoy the fact that I'm going to be able to go abroad for a year and study over there, which is obviously an amazing opportunity because I'm going to study at a university in French and be able to understand a completely different legal system to the one that's here because the French system is entirely different so it's going to be brand new, which is really exciting. Um, so every year the law school sends two people to Malaysia. It's been happening for about three years now, so I was the third year to go. Um, so it's open to all the law school and everyone can apply and you just fill in an application form of questions um, and then you have a bit of an interview and once you've been chosen and then they send two people over there. It was an amazing opportunity to be able to be part of and it was an honour to be chosen from so many applications. Obviously networking has been a big factor is that I've now got friends and connections in completely different countries that I never thought I'd make friends in. And I think it has developed me as a person in that I'm more confident to be able to travel alone or to be able to approach new people alone. Like the Dean of the University was there and a lot of quite prestigious uh, lecturers and lawyers and stuff that were there as well. So to be able to approach them is I think a new skill that I've developed while I've been there. And obviously um, just being with one other girl meant that we had to do a lot of stuff alone and being able to go out in the evenings alone in a different foreign country was obviously a, a good experience and skill to be able to develop as a person really. It's definitely been the highlight of my degree so far and I think as well what's going to be another highlight is studying in Toulouse for a year at a university over there which is kind of the equivalent of our Oxford and Cambridge so it's a really prestigious, really good place to be able to um, study. So I'll study French law in French. Uh, and I obviously have assessments and exams and stuff over there in French as well. I lived in Frau in Halls in the first year um, and I've made some great friends there that I'm still friends with today and we live together now and hopefully we'll be friends you know for this foreseeable future. Um, I really enjoyed the community feel of living in Halls and it is I think the best way for new students to make friends and kind of push themselves out of their comfort zone to live on their own and it's a great kind of transitional place between living at home with your parents and completely living alone in the adult world. Um, and there's also so many activities offered by you know campus life and things going on in the bar and stuff like that that it is really like a community thing over there um, and obviously like really safe as well like obviously with all the security that's there and all the friendly people and wardens and stuff. So yeah, really enjoyed my time there. Uh, I'm a member of the Law Society just because I'm a law student anyway, so you instantly become a member. Um, but obviously they run the winter balls and the spring balls and stuff every year, um, which I do go to those and they're really, um, like they're really good nights. Um, I also do some moots through the university, not officially with the society, but I also have competed in those. Um, so they were quite really interesting to do. Um, I also go to the dog walking society, <laughs> the new society that started this year, um, mainly because I want to pet dogs. But they also give quite a lot of interesting speeches about uh, you know, different aspects of dogs that you wouldn't think they'd be able to do, like dogs that can sniff out you know, endangered species or not. interesting things like that, like sniffer dogs and different talks and stuff. So that's, and it's relaxing to go and pet a dog anyway. It's scientifically proven, so. <laughs> a lot of people say, oh, do you want to be a French lawyer just because I'm doing French and law? And it is a, an option that I've considered. Um, or maybe perhaps using the French side of my degree to you know, go into translation or um, legal translation as well would be really interesting, but we've got two more years to decide that. So. <laughs>